So I've finally been able to download Android 10, AKA OnePlus's Oxygen 10.0. And I must say, I love this new operating system update. Now to start off, I wanna talk a little bit about the brand new UI design. So the design looks fantastic. There's been some changes in the design and I love it. And also I feel that the app is much more responsive than before. The animations are smoother and everything feels much smoother than before. I mean, I've noticed a little bit of animation choppiness in the previous version, but now it feels as good as an iPhone's animations, even better than the iPhone, of course, with a 90 hertz screen. So let's start with my favorite feature, the one that I was missing from the P20 Pro, and that's the inward swipes. So before, when, let's say, okay, let's say for example, I go on Facebook. Before, in the previous version, if you wanted to go back, you had to swipe from the bottom all the way to the top. So that's the way you, you, you could go back. And uh, of course, this is the home button swipe. But now you have the added inward swipes from the left or right edge of the screen to go back. So there you go. If you wanna go back, just swipe from the left or from the right edge of the screen to go back and that's very convenient because the previous gesture sometimes got mixed up with the home gesture so I didn't like that. I love swiping from the left or from the right to go back. Now that's one of the full screen gestures. Now also there's um, an added or OnePlus added a navigation bar to allow switching left or right for recent apps and it works like this. So the, the one that we all know is that you swipe and hold to get the tray. But this one is interesting. You just sort of swipe or switch from left to right. You can easily switch between apps. And that's pretty amazing. Another feature is called Smart Display and that now uh, it's some sort of intelligent info based um, on specific times, locations, and events. So if you want to access that, you go to settings, display, ambient display, and there it is, smart display, intelligent info based on specific times, locations, and events. Of course, there's also a new message feature. Now, you can block spam by certain keywords for messages, and that's very useful for spam. As for the system itself, the most important upgrade, I think, or update is um, the enhanced location permissions for privacy. So now Android gives you full control over location privacy. When you're using an app, Android will tell you, will ask you to choose between letting the app uh, get your GPS or location data all the time or only while in use. And I think that's amazing. So that's a big bonus for privacy. And of course, there are many other features that I'm not gonna mention in the video, but I believe I've mentioned the most important features. Oh yeah, and there's also Game Space. So now there's a new Game Space feature that allows you to join all your favorite games in one place for easier access and for a better gaming experience. But I don't really play many games on my, on my phone, so I'm not really interested in that feature. But for the people that are interested in games, I think that's also interesting for them. And yeah, that's about it. If you want to know how you can get or download Android 10, please refer to my previous video. As of now, the OTA update is now rolling out to a small section of the community and a wider rollout slated for the coming days provided there are no bugs of course and there are other methods. The way I got my Android 10 update is through an app called Oxygen Updater, and it's right there. You can download <clears throat> the latest system update through Oxygen Updater. No, actually, in fact, I got mine using the last method, which is a stable zip download. But it's the same, which is this one, the file name, OnePlus 7 Pro Oxygen, blah, 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 whatever this is. So you can either use this, or you can download the zip file, the stable version of it, or you can use, uh, wait for the OTA update, which is now rolling out. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Android 10.
By the way, did I say that I love this? I really love the new update.